Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miguel Garcia. And today I got this crazy idea to show you how to make the uh, non-sew or non-glue or non-nothing um, bow tie like this one. And it goes on the collar. And you can also make it for yourself if you add a um, one of those lapel pins. You can just actually make it for yourself and you can do like a matching set with your doggy or a client's doggy. Right, so this is gonna be super easy. I'm going to be showing you. You can make this in different sizes according to um, the uh, length of the fabric that you use. So as you can see, I make a couple here. Um, they're super easy. There is not like a big drama or like a hard thing to make on that. What we're gonna use is the your favorite piece of fabric. Uh, I'm using this one because this is the one that I'm making. I mean, the one that I'm using. And we're gonna use rubber bands. Obviously, we're gonna use these kind of shears, the ones that um, you use to cut the bandanas with so they don't un un unravel this. And it gives like kind of like the zigzag thing so you all know what, what I'm talking about, right? So basically, this is the uh, piece of fabric that we are going to be using. Now, here is the tricky part. And there's not tricky part, which is awesome, isn't it? All right, so I this is super cool. Look, we're gonna be uh, holding the top part, which is gonna be the longest uh, part of the fabric, and we're gonna fold it. We're gonna fold, I would say, like three to four fingers, uh, like laying like this. So it's gonna be like this much that we're gonna be folding, as you can see right there. And then we're gonna be doing the same thing on this side. We're gonna make it. Uh, we're gonna clip. We're gonna clip. We're gonna fold the uh extra part right here that we are doing and then we're gonna fold it okay now you have to pay attention to these uh this area right here you know when you fold it and then we have this this has to stay on the uh opposite side of not the uh the right side but the other one the wrong side right so this is what we're gonna be doing so we have that right there and we're gonna be folding it bang right so here is the part that i was talking about you have to make sure that this part the tails of the bow uh they have to be like hanging on that side don't make it to this side because then it's going to show on this side on the uh bottom part so you need to make it to the other side and then bang we have that and then bang we have these you can make it uh to meet in the middle you will know what I'm talking about when you're doing them. So you will do that. And then we're going to use two rubber bands, the ones that you use for the uh, bows. Ta -da. We're going to pinch it, pinch it in the middle of the uh, thing that you already made right here. And we're just going to make it bang, 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 bang. And boom. There you go. There you have it. It's super easy. We're gonna use. I like to use two rubber bands so that way they, it can stay like stronger. Um, in case one rips off or you know whatever, I just like to make sure that I use two. Uh, so I play safe. And then we're gonna slide it in. We're gonna bring it to the um, part right here, and we're gonna fix it. You know when you're running, you're just gonna try to make it as fast as you can. So if you have a time, you know, when you're watching TV or whatever you're doing, uh, just make sure you do that and boom. Super cute. It's super chic, super fashionable. You can add, you know, whatever you want to do here. If you're going to add a, like a stone or a jewel or something, and you're going to use a uh, hot glue gun, make sure that you use some kind of like thread to wrap it around because these rubber bands are gonna rip off if you put it to um, through high temperatures. And then you have your dog, uh, your client, whatever, your whatever you're gonna do. And we're gonna use the tails of the bows. As you can see, there's this wrong, there is this uh, right. So we're gonna face always to the front, the part that is uh, looks nicer per se. And then we're gonna put it on the collar or you can add a little ribbon so that, that later on you're gonna uh, like tie it up on your doggy's neck. And this is how it looks. It looks awesome. It looks really nice. This is very inexpensive. 
uh, and super chic. You can use different kind of uh, ribbons, I mean ribbons of fabric, uh, according to the uh, season. If you're gonna, now we are getting uh, close to Halloween, so we can all use the, all the bandanas that, you know, the bandana fabric that we have, that I know, I've been watching you all guys, uh, that you've been buying at Joann's or any other store, so you can use it, right? This is for Valentine's, this is uh, just a little cute, cute little cat and dogs and then there's this with different uh figures so um this is just one of the tips that you know you can work with your fabrics remember i i work with fabrics all the time so if you want to learn more tips and uh, tricks about fabric and folding and sewing and all this stuff don't forget to follow me on instagram at uh, miguel garcia designs and also at dalila spit grooming i'm i'm a dog groomer also so I just can't help it, but I have to do my things. So I see you all later. Have a great day. Stay in peace with your old ones. Call them up. Call your mom. Call your dad. Call your son. Your sisters. If you're arguing and you're doing some kind of like crazy stuff, just stop. Is that what you're doing? Tell them how much you love them. And remember, karma. Karma is a bitch and can't get you. See you all later. Stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>